Right, so this presentation then will be about um, artificial intelligence and music. And uh, to some of you, maybe music may still seem like a somewhat strange or esoteric or unusual or not so important field of research or application for AI. Uh, well, no, or maybe not. This is probably not true anymore. This is what I would have said 20 years ago. I would have had to explain why music is an important field for applications and uh, or a fruitful field for research for AI. Nowadays, I think this is pretty obvious. Right? The, the digital music uh, world is a huge market and huge industry with a strong demand for computational support um, to deal with all these massive amounts of digital audio out there. And there are, also, are already lots of applications of AI in the field of uh, digital music, from music recommender systems to smart music production software and so on. So, so AI and music really has become a big research field that comes under various names, such as music information retrieval, or MIR, or sound and music computing. And there are many uh, research labs all over the world, including research groups at some of the major um, internet and media companies like Google, Apple, Sony, um, Spotify. They all have their own AI and, and music research groups. So this is a broad field, and I couldn't even attempt to give you an, like, an overview of the whole field in a presentation like this. So. Um, what I'd like to do is just give you, show you a few glimpses of things, so a few selected examples of things that AI can already do with music and musical audio. And then we'll be looking at some things that machines are not so good at currently and why that is so. And then we will look at a big research project by the name of Con Espressione, which um, tries to take this a step further if possible. And I will be mostly dealing with classical music examples. I hope you'll find this reasonably interesting. So um, let me start with a little experiment that I promised in the abstract. Um, so this is going to be, um, let me do this at the very beginning before you know the context of, of all this so as to avoid any possible biases. This is going to be a listening experiment. Um, and given the specific circumstances with you listening to this at home or in your offices or wherever you are, and I have no control over your listening conditions, and I don't even know whether you hear, you will hear the relevant differences. This is going to be a prime example of how, of an uncontrolled experiment of how one should not do it. So let's not take this too seriously as an experiment, uh, uh, rather, Take it as a way of to, to set the mood for this presentation 